new threat facing our society the female body. All across the country, dress codes igniting controversy. Ripped jeans and a tank top got her sent home from school. A 15-year-old girl was forced to change into what her mom calls a shame suit. But often, the fear isn't for the girl's sake, it's for the boys. The guys, they can't deal with it. Look at the kid. Uh, it reminded me of me when I was in high school. Hey, I couldn't sorry. concentrate because the girls were in these wonderful little cheerleading outfits. How could I do geometry when they were sitting right in front of me? Yeah, that is smell their hair. That's problem. The concept is nothing new. Boys will be boys and girls need to conform to keep things under control. But what happens when young women start speaking up? This is Maggie Sunseri. Her school here in Kentucky has a pretty strict dress code. What do we got? Okay, what about, what about this? See, that's a no-no because collarbone. Ooh, I like this. This is really pretty. Shoulders. I would like wear this as a job interview. So Maggie decided to take matters into her own hands. Last year, I was in a filmmaking class and we were instructed to make short films, but instead I chose to make a controversial documentary because that's just who I am. I feel really crappy about myself because of this dress code. One person happened to think it was inappropriate, so I had to miss all of class that day. And the biggest thing is we're trying to teach students how to dress for success. You got them to change the dress code. What? changes were made. I proposed a dress code where shorts and skirts, instead of going down to your knees, they'd come to fingertip length. And they took that and made it so it was a credit card length. I think it's two and an eighth inch is how high above yeah. it can be. It's very specific. Yeah, and they have that for the collarbone as well. <laughs> Their whole thing is they don't want to have teachers have to touch the students to measure it, but right. they want it to be measurable. So, so they use, do they actually use real credit cards? They Wait, talked they about having the engineering class making like a stand and like <laughs> a credit card thing and then you go stand by it and it'll like measure you so they don't have to put their hands on you. I'm here to learn. I'm not yeah. here for you to come measure me to make sure I am at the eighth of an inch. Did you keep like a credit card around in your closet so you can measure stuff? This one has to be okay. Yes, that's right? perfectly okay, and I wear that a lot during the winter. Amazing. Dress for success! Does it feel <laughs> odd when, you know, boys don't get called out in the way that girls do? We were talking to some of the guys, and they were telling us, like, they feel kind of insulted. And they, I think they should feel insulted, because really, it's like calling them out. Like, you, you can't handle yourselves. But what if legs and collarbones are actually a distraction for boys? I worked some connections to get a hold of two teen boys of my own. Matt and John, both 18, were asked to take two separate math tests with me. But for the second test, I decided to add another variable to the equation. My collarbones. My bare collarbones on display, glistening in the light of my office's conference room, how would they be able to resist? How would this distraction affect their academic performance? Your name on it? Yep. Good. So, how did this test feel? I felt decent enough about it. Did you guys, like, lose your minds? No. Something was different from the first test to the second test, right? Well, yeah. I think the format of the test was a little different. Right. Yeah. So. You, you didn't see any change? No. At all? No. I didn't really notice anything. You guys other... didn't notice that I, I, I took off my blazer and revealed my collarbones? No. Some people might be super into legs or shoulders or collarbones, but by targeting and restricting girls out of fear that they'll be objectified, we're only objectifying them more. Why were girls targeted more than boys and what's unfair about that? Well, I think that girls were targeted just because in our society, our bodies are sexualized at every turn and so we have to make these rules that, you know, cover up your body or you should be shamed for it. I think what I learned from this experience is that it doesn't matter how old you are, you can still enact positive change and you shouldn't let adults tell you that you can't.